Hello everyone! Make sure to subscribe and drop a thumbs up! Do you think Barcelona can win the Europa League this time? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below! And meanwhile, let's get started! Barcelona will play in the Europa League knockout stages for the second year in a row under Xavi. Antoine Griezmann is the only player in Atletico Madrid's history who has at least 10 goals and 10 assists in the Champions League. Barcelona have lost 5 of their 7 home games against Bayern. Bayern Munich have won 12 Champions League games in a row, which is a competition record. They face Inter Milan in the next round. Atletico Madrid failed to reach the Champions League round of 16 for the first time since the 2017-18 season, when the Colchonetas won the Europa League. Julian Nagelsmann became the first coach to beat Barcelona four times in the Champions League. Barcelona won only one of the seven Champions League games under Xavi against Victoria Polzen. Robert Lewandowski failed to score in both matches against Bayern Munich. He has scored five goals for Barcelona in five Champions League games. Serge Gnabry is the first player to make three assists against Barca in the Champions League. Barcelona failed to score in five of their seven Champions League games under Xavi. Barcelona still have to improve, and it can be achieved by playing against such teams, although it has been very cruel. We have not reached Bayern level. The miracle did not happen. Bayern felt calm and relaxed. It's the best club in Europe, Barca president Joan Laporta commented after the game. Barcelona has failed to make a single shot on target in a Champions League game for the third time in history. Each case happened within the last 13 months. Real Madrid is the only Spanish club that managed to advance to the Champions League round of 16 this season, as Barcelona, Atletico and Sevilla leave the competition. The aggregate score of the last five games between Bayern and Barcelona is 19-2. I'm not talking to any investors. The club is not for sale. Fabrizio Romano cited a Sky Sports interview with Inter Milan president Steven Zhang. I can't say anything about Quartzhelia and Man City rumors. I can tell that Quartzhelia is 100% untouchable. He is not in the market. Napoli director Cristiano Giuntoli asserted. Sergio Busquets received a yellow last night and is set to miss the game against Victoria due to disqualification. The match against Bayern was probably his last Champions League game. Modric can't say no to Arsenal if they are gonna sign him. CBS journalist Ban Jacobs tweeted. Inter plan to offer Milan Skriniar a contract extension. Sky Sports report. Xavi has already suffered five defeats in European competitions as Barcelona's head coach. Zidane won the Champions League three times before his fifth defeat. Palmeiras prodigy Andrik has become the youngest player to ever score for the club, breaking the 106-year record. Bosnia and Herzegovina refuse to play a friendly with Russia. The Goldens will instead play with Morocco. Some Champions League games are easier than playing in the Premier League, Robin Diaz told Forbes. Newell's old boys have announced the appointment of Gabriel Haynes as their new head coach. They have to impose sanctions against PSG. 10 million euros are like a cup of coffee for them. It breaks the ecosystem of football. I don't think our early Champions League exit is a failure. Defeats happen in football. It's totally wrong to have a different mindset. Juventus coach Massimiliano Allegri dropped a shocking message in his post-match interview. If there will be an opportunity to return to Atletico Madrid someday, why not? I would like it to happen. Would be nice. Bayern Munich defender Lucas Hernandez admitted. I won't answer any more about Ronaldo. I believe we discussed everything last week, Eric Ten Hag said. Aston Villa star Felipe Coutinho is unlikely to participate in the upcoming World Cup. Brazilian head coach Tite is unhappy about Felipe's poor form and sees Everton or Firmino in the squad instead. Julian Drexler has suffered a muscle injury and risks missing the 2022 World Cup, according to Bill. Now it's pretty clear why Shakhtar Donetsk have turned down a 30 million euros bid for Modric. Fabrizio Romano tweeted after the Celtic Shakhtar clash. You learn more from one defeat than from 10 wins in a row. Carlo Ancelotti said after Real Madrid's defeat against Leipzig. We are happy to continue our journey in the next stage, because not many teams could keep a clean sheet against City, Jude Bellingham admitted. Another fabulous night with the Champions League. Have a look at the results. Now let's go to the top news of the episode. Let's recap yesterday's Champions League clashes. In Group A, Napoli and Liverpool defeated their opponents, Rangers and Ajax respectively. A brace from Simeone and another goal by Estigori secure the 3-0 victory for impressive Napoli. Liverpool stunned the Yaks with three blitz goals in the middle of the game. Salah, Nunez and Elliott on a score sheet. 
in Group B ported to complete revenge on Brook, 0-4. While in the match of the day, Atletico failed to beat Bayer, even though they were awarded a penalty in the last minute of the match, as Carrasco disappointed the Madrid fans with the Champions League exit guaranteed. In Group C, no miracle happened. Inter thrashed the underdog Victoria 4-0, and Barcelona was embarrassed at Camp Nou by losing to Bayer 0-3. The same stuff as a year ago, with Mane, Choupo-Moting, and Pavard stealing the show. Moving on to Group D, Eintracht beat Marseille 2-1 and Tottenham played a 1-1 draw with Sporting. Here you have all the standings. Barcelona fans chanted for Lionel Messi during the Champions League game against Bayern Munich. The chants started in the first half when the score was 2-0. The Blaugrana supporters are obviously missing the days when their legend could protect their team from trouble. Liverpool centre-back Virgil van Dijk has admitted that Barcelona is a club that has given him a lot of inspiration over the years. Barcelona definitely inspired me. There were so many Dutch players like, like Frank and Ronald de Boer, Patrick Luvert, playing under Frank Rijkert, van Dijk was quoted by Goal.com. When he was asked what's the best away stadium to play in away from home, Virgil said, that's a difficult question but I would say Camp Nou in Barcelona. I was watching a lot of Barcelona games when I was younger and then being able to play there with Celtic. Chelsea have a great deal in principle for RB Leipzig forward Christopher Nkuku confirms Fabrizio Romano. The Blues are comfortably winning the race for the French international who scored in his side's win over Real Madrid on Tuesday. And Cuckoo has even completed his medical with Chelsea and there are some small details that need to be ironed out. After that is done, Romano confirms that he will be able to give his trend mark, here we go for the deal. Juventus hit the 20 million euros payment to Portuguese striker Cristiano Ronaldo in the days when he played for the old lady. According to La Gazzetta dello Sport, the source says that this payment was not included in the official reports of the Turin club. Instead, this was done under a secret agreement in which he received part of his salary without paying taxes. According to the investigation from 2018 to 2020, Juventus falsified financial statements, artificially inflating the number of capital giants by 115 million euros, which then helped them to conceal the dilution of share capital and unreasonably continue trading the shares on the stock exchange. Recall that the 37-year-old Portuguese played for Juventus from 2018 to 2021. Lionel Messi pulled off yet another outstanding performance on Tuesday, scoring two goals and assisting another two for Paris Saint-Germain in a 7-2 win over Maccabi Haifa. The Argentine legend has thus moved a step closer to the top of the Champions League scoring leaderboard. As it stands, Messi has a tally of 129 UCL goals. The only player with a better record is Cristiano Ronaldo with the 140 goals mark. However, the Portuguese striker is having a hard time improving his record this season as Manchester United are not even playing in the Champions League. That leaves Leo with just 11 goals to match the record and 12 to overcome it. Given the Paris club's fantastic performances, the record could be broken as early as this season. Dear friends, check out the new video on Vamosito and find out how Leo Messi brings back his excellent form and why he's back on top again. That was Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.